don't come and see me if some way somehow god forbid but if some way somehow life happens and i gain weight and you see me that like, i ah, see i need to the one who say you're on a diet shut up okay shut it i don't want to hear it the brightness of this day has given me the opportunity to bring you this video welcome back to my channel winging it with ac my name is ac so today i am doing my second weight loss video on this channel <coughs> my first one was me ranting about how people talk about your weight and everything today's video is going to be a long one and i don't plan to cut it in two so get ready for this long ride if you're not in for the long ride to god bless you so i never in a million years thought i would sit and make a video to tell literally the entire world <laughs> about um like how much i weigh and my weight loss struggles or okay i'm already talking about my weight loss struggles point is today i'm here to tell you that you can eat kenke and still lose weight you can eat banku and still lose weight you can eat fufu and still lose weight because i have done it <coughs> now from january to june i have lost 10 kg 10 kilos which is i think about 20 pounds and through this time, I was eating kinky. I ate fufu. Okay, I ate banku. So it's possible. Now, what I am here to do is to share with you some of the things that I did to get me to this point. Now, okay, I'll get I'll get to that eventually. Now, I have a my book here, and I've written down everything because there's so many different things. So I've written down everything. So if you see me looking here or holding my book. Please pardon me because otherwise I'll leave some things out. Now, why did I decide to start doing this? I just decided to start doing it. Okay, so last year, um, during the lockdown, I actually started working out. Now, I ended up finding out that the one thing that made me consistent with working out was Afrobeats. I love Afrobeats. And I love dancing to it. So to finding exercises that were so fun and not too much talking made me like actually consistent with working out and made me look forward to working out. In the past, um, anytime I would start going to the gym and be doing treadmill things, it wasn't working out for me. So point is last year I realized that I could actually become consistent with exercising. And I was I started the exercising not to lose weight. My point was I didn't want to gain weight during lockdown because of the way I was cooking every day. Now getting to the end of the year I kind of stopped and then I was like Charlie and I didn't realize I had gained all the way back. You know so I was like Charlie I need to get back on this. So the first thing that started it was I had a conversation with my darling friend Mira and we're talking about all of this and it just motivated me to start again. So um, I sat down and I thought long and hard. So you know there are all these um, weight loss programs. I don't even want to mention names, but a lot of weight loss programs that you find on Instagram and such. So there were two that I was considering, but somehow eventually I decided not to go that route because of their customer service like i i email i messaged one i dm'd one i was good i sent one a dm to ask them i don't know to make inquiries and then when i opened the dm i realized that i had actually sent them a dm more than a year ago a few months after i gave it to sarah and to date they've never responded to that dm i was like wow at that point in time i was like never mind but anyway so i sat down and i thought about it and i was like listen i don't want to get into any weight loss program or something that would make you eat you know those ones i would say be eating broccoli and everyday smoothies and those things and kale and no i wanted to eat my Ghanaian foods and still lose weight because for me it is not realistic for me to say that i'm going to stop eating kinky for a while just so i can lose weight will i stop eating kinky for the rest of my life will i stop eating fufu for the rest of my life will i stop eating plantain jollof for, for the rest of my life and i actually spoke to at least four people who told me about their experience with keto and already now me i just decided that keto was not for me and i didn't think it was realistic and all these people told me their, their experiences when like no don't do keto so 
this is just going to be long bear with me okay now two no before i gave it to serum a year before like i think the year i got pregnant with him months before that i of after this weight loss thing that we have tried so we are tired so i found a ghanaian weight loss program this guy called randy kote i found him on linkedin and he was selling he's a he's a fitness coach and all so he was selling this program um that is a ghanaian weight loss diet or whatever and i i bought it and i started using it and it was i loved it because it was so simple and it was for me it was easy to follow because you are eating things like tom brown you are still eating rice you're eating wache you know and it wasn't in absurdly small quantities you know and for his you are eating five times a day so you're eating breakfast you're eating a snack so maybe the snack would be like two coconuts or watermelon um um yeah eating lunch watch it with egg and stew and whatnot so for me that was simple but after a while i don't know i just kind of just fell off so i was like let me go back to that but i had this at the beginning of january when i was making all of these decisions i had so much food in my freezer i was like no i need to figure out a way that will not make me have to discard all of that food or you know but still eat that food and still stay on track so that leads me to point number one portion control so i went back to his book his book has his guide has and i think he's on instagram too so his guide has like at the beginning it has um <coughs> portion sizes so he gives you portion size if you are going to be drinking milk uh anytime you're drinking milk with whatever porridge it is whether it is oats or um um, Tom Brown or whatever it is it ha right now I don't remember the measurements off my head but I think it's like half a cup and it has to be skimmed milk so half a cup of skimmed milk or three quarter cup of skimmed milk stuff like that so I was like okay let me go to that guide and keep trying like just use that as a guide for whenever I'm eating something so I remember rice I think it was like if it's rice it has to be brown rice and I was like say I don't plan on eating brown rice in my life so we have to make do with white rice I think brown rice if it's rice it, i think it has to be brown rice it has to be I think one cup or so so i decided to do three quarter cup which is three of this so these measuring um spoons or measuring cups became my friends so whenever i ate um wache or um rice or jollof it would always be at like at most it would be one cup so i would actually measure it i'll scoop it into this and then that's all i'm eating now what helped me with that quantity was being intentional about eating vegetables and i have never eaten this much vegetables in my life my mom my mom would probably not believe me like i was so, so intentional so now the vegetable stand where i've been buying vegetables from like they know me so they've been giving me into so so i was intentional so whenever i'm eating let's say wache so wache i was following his guide so wache would be like three quarter i was cooking the wache myself so three quarter cups three quarter cup of what um wache and then i would make um lettuce and onions i discovered that i really like that combination so lettuce with onions like so a lot of lettuce and onions so once you mix that all up the lettuce the lettuce gives a bulk and then you don't feel hungry and then i'll add um either one boiled egg or i'll fry two eggs now i'm coming to that <coughs> so those are some of the portion sizes so i was being very intentional about portion sizes so when i so if you take just like a one cup of rice it looks like it ends so it's not enough so then when you add a salad to it then it's like you really feel full afterwards so that's what i was doing but the very first week was so hard it was hard it was hard i was so hungry and then i realized that what i needed was to increase my protein and decrease uh, my carbs so the protein for instance so when i tried that it worked so i wouldn't think about like i wouldn't think about food for like to the next meal i would i'll be full for a really long time now the other reason why i did this is because i thought back to sss high school and i remember how when i went to high school i was i was almost 70 kg or i don't even remember but i remember that in my first term i lost about i think seven kg and that was like first time was like three months and so when i thought back to that i was like in my secondary school we we're eating kinky four times a week four times a week 
yet i still lost all that weight and i realized that it was a combination of portion control and being very very physically active when you go to form one everywhere in the school you go you are running <clears throat> form one um first term for our school first term was, was athletics every morning you have to jog down the hill and back up you are running to class you are running to dining hall you are running to go and bath so it's like a lot of physical activity so i realized that's a combination of being more active plus portion control because dining hall there's 10 of you at a table or 12 of you at a table and this is the one pot of food they've given you so everybody gets two ladles of rice and that's it so i was like okay if i was able to do that then i should be able to do this that leads me to point number two exercise so i became more physically active so my sister-in-law my brother's wife has been my if i say my coach or my accountability partner so she was like okay see you're going to work out three times a week that's it three times a week and that's it because my plan was to lose one kg that's one kilogram a month so that at the end of 2021 i would have lost 12 kg but look at god we lost it in what six months we lost what we lost 10 kg in six months okay okay please let's backtrack back to the portion control now um i just realized that there's a lot i need to say when it comes to the portion control now with the kinky those of you who are on this channel and are my loves on this channel you know how ac loves kinky how did i overcome like i don't as much as i love kinky i don't eat it that often like maybe four times a week or something no <clears throat> So what I did was, okay, when I'm going to eat kinky, I divide it into half. And I eat half of the kinky with fish and pepper. So that's what I've been doing. Have there been times where I still ate a whole bowl of kinky because the kinky and the pepper was so good? Yes. But for the most part, I've been eating half a bowl of kinky with fish and, and pepper. And the same for fufu. So what I did, my strategy with fufu was that I don't eat fufu that often. But the times where I would eat fufu... When I get the food in front of me, I start by drinking the soup. So I drink the soup. I eat one piece of meat. Then I attack the fufu. Maybe I'll take two or three. By, by which time, I'm already getting full. So by the time I'm done with the food, half of the fufu is left. So I actually divide the fufu into half. And I'm like, okay, I'm eating just this half. And drinking all of the soup and eating the meat. And it, it, it worked for me. So um, that's also another thing I have been doing. When it comes to banku, you know like the standard banku that they give you when you go out to go and eat. Usually they, when you go out to eat, they give you two. I never eat. I, ne I barely ever finish one full one. I would eat, most of the time I will eat like half of it. And then if it's banku and tilapia, I will just focus on eating all of the tilapia. And by the time I realize I've eaten very little of the, the banku. Because really, the banku and the, the fufu and the um, kenke, they really are carb heavy. Okay. So I've already talked about exercise. I started exercising um, at least three times a week. And I was doing a free fitness. If you are following me on Instagram, you know me and Afri Fitness. I always post it in my stories as much as I can just to encourage myself and encourage other people. It's Afro beats. Yeah, dancing. I love dancing. I love dancing. So that's the one thing that has kept me consistent. So her, she has these monthly challenges and she posts workouts. It's on a paid app um, four times a week. My goal was to do four to five times a week, which I have been doing. Sometime in May, I sort of like, um, backslid as for june i have done like two only two workouts but i did a lot of walking so that's that with the exercise <clears throat> now i was also doing intermittent fasting nobody she asked me what intermittent fasting is there are tons of videos on youtube about intermittent fasting go and check it out for yourself and 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 educate yourself so i was doing intermittent fasting so what i was doing was that i was skipping breakfast and honestly it was convenient for me to skip breakfast and i don't have to think about oh what should i eat for breakfast and then it's also taking up time because then i have to eat before i leave the house so i wasn't eating breakfast i would eat after 12 noon so i'd have my lunch after 12 noon and then i'd eat dinner in the evening because mostly my lunch would be a bit heavy and sometimes i'll um alternate the carbs so sometimes i'll eat only like protein for lunch like chicken wings or something and then in the evening it will be rice and whatever with vegetables and whatnot 
if i'm eating roasted plantain i would buy only two and then you see the inkatia the one that they tied in two i would buy in like two of that how much is that two and cp i don't remember the cost but something like that so that's what i was doing so if i'm i i had measurements in my head if it is if it is roasted plantain we are eating i'm eating only two pieces with granuts and then i drink a lot of water stuff like that that's what i was doing <coughs> now um the next thing i was doing was reduced sugar um i was reducing my sugar because i realized that i had really increased my sugar intake all because of ice cream i really like ice cream and i realized that in november december i was eating a lot of ice cream almost daily and i was like okay it's, this is becoming too much so i decided that from monday to friday no added sugar so of course, I wasn't eating breakfast, so I didn't have to worry about Milo or adding sugar to my tea and lunch. So I wasn't buying, like, I wouldn't drink Coke and those things. I was just very conscious of that. So Monday to Friday, no added sugar, no soda, no ice cream, none, nothing. Or nothing that I even have to, I like, actually, like, add sugar. But on the weekends, hey, God. Sometimes on the weekends, I would overdo it because I'm like, ah, the whole week I've gone without eating sugar, you know, so then I would um, buy ice cream, like if it's a Sunday, so it's like Sundays were like my ice cream days or Saturdays or something like on Saturdays and Sundays, I'm not so conscious of sugar as I am during the week. So that's another thing I was doing because I told myself that I don't want to die tomorrow and then I'll get to heaven. I'm like, ah, I should have eaten ice cream after all what? What is life? You know? So I was like, I'm not going to say that for the rest of my life. I'm not going to eat sugar. So I'm cutting sugar out completely. No, I am trying to do something as realistic as possible so that I can actually sustain it. And I think that that's what has helped me to get this far. So I wanted something that was not too drastic and I'll be able to sustain it, you know, even after I've lost all the weight that I actually want to lose, that I can keep sustaining it and not just like go back to my, 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 my previous weight because I made too many drastic changes. So that's what I did when it comes to sugar. And then I decided to try and take more steps. And this one, I didn't start until May. So in May, I was like, let me try and take more steps. But the thing is that with my, I didn't have a fitness tracker then. So I was using my phone, but I realized that my phone wasn't that um, accurate. So um, where my building is, I am on the first floor. There are no washrooms on the first floor. They're all on the ground floor. And I'm at the end of the building and there are two staircases. There's one closer to my office and there's one far away from my office. So I decided that anytime I needed to go downstairs, I would walk all the way to that staircase and come down. Walk all the way to the bathroom, which is like literally underneath my office. And then walk all the way back just so that I'm taking more steps and I'm getting in uh, my... On my phone is 10k steps but on my fitness shop is 8k steps 8,000 steps my boss's office is not in my building it's a i don't know three minute drive away from my building and every, every time i was going there my colleague uh, so every time I, I go there i drive there so i was like okay now if i have the time i will walk there so i was conscious about walking so if i have to go and see her or something i would walk there so walking was about like a 10 minute walk and then I would walk back. Sometimes I'll do that twice throughout my working day. So it helped me become more conscious about taking more steps so that you are more active. <clears throat> the only thing is that when I am so busy, these past three weeks, I've been so busy and so swamped. I'm like, I cannot afford <laughs> 20, like to waste 20 minutes walking. No, I need to go and come back right now, you know. But if you're in a position to um, do a little bit more walking, when you're at work so i and i have my national service persons downstairs if i need them to do something for me most of the time i'll call them but i try to be a bit more conscious about actually going downstairs to tell them and walking up so it's it was making me take more steps and then i got this fitness tracker as a birthday gift from my husband so this has been very helpful in helping me track my steps so i've been more um physically active like i'm being more conscious about taking the steps that i need to take and then adding my exercise to that as well now <clears throat> watching weight loss videos i can spend 
a lot of time watching weight loss video after weight loss video on youtube and i follow a lot of um weight loss people who are tracking their weight loss on tiktok so those really really encourage me so i see somebody seeing this is where she started from and then a lot of those ones i've been seeing are people who have been on the journey for a year so like it took them a year to lose let's say 20 kilograms so it really encourages me that it's not everybody who's looking for the fast fast thing where it's like within 12 weeks you've lost 20 kilograms you know like i needed something sustainable <clears throat> so watching weight loss video after like sometimes i've already watched it but i'll watch it again and to encourage me i'll learn something new or just just to encourage me when i feel like i just want to give up were there times i wanted to give up oh yes many times where i was like i am tired of everything you know like i'm tired like why does it have to be so hard to <clears throat> lose the weight that you've you've gained over a period of time you know like there are times i was like you know what so what is life <laughs> we'll die tomorrow <laughs> And another reason why I got tired was calorie counting. So that's another thing I did. And I think that's like the end of my point. So I did cut. So one in one of the weight loss videos I watched, there was a lady who was talking about calorie counting. And I've heard of it before. And so I was like, okay, let me just try. The reason why I didn't want to go into calorie counting was because I was afraid I would become obsessed with it. So it's like I'm to the point where maybe like you're afraid of food. And I didn't want that so <clears throat> i was like let me just go give it a try so i downloaded this and you know when it comes to these fitness things when it comes to ghanaian food nigerian food african food it is hard to measure it's hard to measure and that's what these fitness trackers and these calorie counters are for you know like how do you measure the kinky you are eating <laughs> or the food the soup yeah the light soup or their bank kwan you are drinking you see those things it's so tricky so um what i did was that i downloaded it and then you put into it how much you want to lose a week so i think i i think i wanted to lose 0.5 kg a week so like i was just trying to just take my time with this weight loss so when you do all of that then you'll calculate how many calories you should eat in a day to be able to meet those goals so i said i did that for like i think i was calorie counting i think i started somewhere in march I did a March, April, middle of May, I stopped. I haven't gone back to it <laughs> since because I got tired. It was one of the things that just made me like, I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. Like, let's forget this calorie counting nonsense, okay? But I like the fact that it made me conscious of everything that I was eating. So I will give it props for that. So when I'm eating salad, I would measure everything so that I can put in as accurately as possible when i'm eating rosé plantain and i say i'm eating two rosé plantain i don't know if what i'm eating is is what is in the app as medium size and i don't have a food skill and i was not prepared to start weighing things so that's another option but i was like no now how <coughs> i came about this whole and then kinky so i'm looking at kinky and i'm like ah does kinky really have that many calories in it so I contacted two people I know at the Nutrition and Food Science Department at the University of Ghana who they have all of these details with the Ghanaian foods and the calories in them. So when I heard how many calories are in a bowl of kinky, just like a, a fist size bowl of kinky, no, not even a fist size, like orange, I don't know, point is mad. So if I'm supposed to be eating 1,600 calories a day and one bowl of kinky alone is literally almost 1,200 calories. So that is why I was like, okay, then we're going to do half. So I am not sure. Okay, so I know this video sounds like it's all over the place. Please forgive me. I didn't do a, what's it called? Like take before pictures and after pictures because <clears throat> in the past, I have done before pictures so many times and then I don't get any way. And then I'll be like, hey, you look at you. I one day I'll just be going through my gallery and I'll see that, I, hey, I took this before photo. Like, what happened? So I just said that I'm not taking a before photo because I don't want to be discouraged. Like, oh, I don't want to fall off the wagon like four weeks later. And then that, what did, that picture, what did you use it for? But when I realized I actually lost weight, um, hold on. 
okay so this is my book where i my diary where i was trying to track my weight so um this is 4th of january and i was 106 but i think the day or two before when i weighed i was 107 so um we started at 107 and then i was weighing myself and then i would write it every few days so you can see that at uh, by 25th February we had lost almost <clears throat> um, 7 7 kg now it really slowed down after February like between February and now I've lost what 3 kg because now I'm, I'm at 97 so in the slowing down too I got very discouraged but I remember that okay this is a slow process and I'll have people encouraging me that just take your time, just take your time and don't give up, just keep going. It's better for me to be where I am now. If I hadn't started in January, I probably would now be 110 or 112 or something. But now we are 97. We are still trying to get to 90. But eventually, eventually we will make it. So where was I even going with this? I feel like this video is just really winded. But my point is, I just wanted to encourage anybody out there, my Ghanaians, my Nigerians, anybody who is struggling with your weight. I am struggling with my weight. We are still struggling, but we shall overcome. And don't see, don't demonize our Ghanaian foods because they are rich in nutrients. You just need to learn portion control. So I'm still getting there. In the month of June, I have really backslidden and i'm surprised to see that i haven't gained weight i'm surprised and happy to see that i haven't gained weight but i did a lot of i paused the afri fitness because somehow my body just wanted to work so i started working a lot being conscious about working so i'd rather work than um do the dancing but now i have gone back to my dancing the fact that i have done this video does not mean that if you see me in town and i am eating something that you think i shouldn't be eating don't come and police me don't come and see me if some way somehow god forbid but if some way somehow life happens and i gain weight and you see me like i see i'm the one who said you're on a diet shut up okay shut it I don't want to hear it okay <clears throat> nobody should police me nobody should say oh you have done well oh, but you can do it better or but cut down the sugar more or but cut down the the, the kinky more or i don't want to hear any of that keep it to yourself yeah thank you you are struggling already as it is just motivate me and keep it moving all right <laughs> so <laughs> if you have actually watched throughout to this point god bless you and i hope that i have encouraged you i really need a lot of encouragement i really need a lot of motivation because this month of june i have just been but we move so i hope i covered everything and i didn't leave anything out if you have any questions for me you can write them down in the comment section thank you for not judging me and actually at a point i took a before photo that was in march so when i realized that i had made progress in march i took a before photo and then at the end of march i took an after photo and there was a difference like if you want a flat tummy you i'm afraid you have to be consistent all your life but the bible didn't say you have to have a flat tummy to get to heaven did it no so i will not kill myself trying to get flat tummy okay <laughs> um yeah but i don't feel so confident about sharing that before and after progress photo so if you choose not to believe that i have lost 10 kg that's your own problem i don't care i just came to share this and it took a lot of um courage for me to actually do this video so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next video bye